I've never known a love so steady Even gold won't turn your tide We flow together like an old What's going on everyone? This is Brian from the Cruise Travelers and today we're going to put together a video that goes over the top 10 mistakes that cruisers make prior or during their cruise. So hang on guys, here we go. All right, guys, in no particular order, the number one mistake that cruisers make is they don't bring a change of clothes when they embark. When you get on the ship, you may not get your luggage until three or four o'clock. When you get on, you take your luggage and you hand it off to some of, uh, some of the baggage handlers. What you need to do is bring a small bag with extra flip-flops, maybe your bathing suit, a t-shirt, some comfortable clothes that you can hang around in. If you get on the ship at, say, 11 or 12 o'clock and you don't get your bags until 3 or 4 o'clock, you're just going to be stuck. You won't be able to get in the pool. You won't be able to relax. So make sure that you pack clothes in a smaller bag that you can carry on with you and that when you want to go out to the pool or hang out maybe get some lunch you'll have them there so you need to bring a change of clothes all right moving along to number two now of the 10 mistakes that cruisers make number two is you have to get up early on sea days you will see some of the most attractive beautiful sunrises you've ever seen the seas are calm it's quiet out, you can enjoy a cup of coffee, enjoy a mimosa, enjoy a Bloody Mary, whatever you would like. The ship is yours, everyone is asleep. Grab you a great seat around the pool, put your feet in, dive in, enjoy the pool. You know, this is your time during the day to have an amazing time. Take a walk around the top deck. It is a beautiful ship, you have to enjoy it. Get up early on those sea days. All right, coming in at number three here is a really important hidden gem. And number three is going to be take a ship tour. Get familiar with the ship. That way you're not wandering around trying to figure out where is your main dining room at? How do I get to the gym? Uh, how do I get downstairs to the pool? How many pools do we have? There are so many questions to ask. Get up early in the morning. Find out where the spa is. Go down and check out and see where the adventure desk is to get your excursions. Figure out where the ship layout is and take the elevators up and down. This is the main atrium right here. You'll want to take that and go up and down and try out all of the floors. It's an amazing ship. Test it out and then your travels throughout the ship will be much easier. You will know where you're at. So that number three one is take a ship tour. All right, so we're already down to number four of the 10 mistakes that cruisers make. Number four is gonna be install the ship app. Major cruise lines have the ship app. There's many things that you can do with that ship app. Not only can you communicate with other family members, on the ship app you can order pizza off of the ship app they'll bring it right to your location you can order drinks off of the ship app you can look at um, how far along on your trip from a map overhead view like this how far along you are on your trip download that app prior to getting on the ship set up and configure it the way you would long the way you would want to and then you can add a feature to be able to chat with other members and other guests and it comes right into the app you can communicate and there's so many other features um, you can look at a countdown as well uh, coming up to your cruise so download that ship app it helps so much all right now coming in at number five one of the really important ones we forget about is don't forget to bring cash with you we realize that you use your sell and sign card every time you get on the ship, but it's important to have a little bit of cash with you when you're getting off the ship. 
Uh, make sure you have a little bit for transportation. Uh, my wife and I had a bit of an issue trying to go into Venice because you had to pay for local taxi um, to get out to where you need to go. So um, it's important to have a little bit of cash with you, 20, 30, 40 dollars, not very much, but just enough to cover some cab rides back and forth. So it's great to always have some cash with you. Like I said, number five is bring a little bit of cash with you. All right, we're moving right along to number six at this point of the top 10 mistakes cruisers make. Number six is gonna be booking the flight too early upon debarkation. You have to give yourself some time. If they pick your bags up the night before you leave and they intend on taking them down for you, you have to find your bags, you have to go through customs. It's really tough to be able to get off the ship in a reasonable amount of time and they have to clear the ship as well. So make sure that you time it well. I would not schedule a flight prior to 1 p.m. of the following day if you disembark uh, by 9 or 10 in the morning. I would give myself at least a few hours, have lunch, relax, and then jump on the plane. So that number six reason in the top 10 mistakes is going to be don't schedule your flight too early. All right, moving on to number seven. And if you want to see some people get fired up on some of these Facebook groups about cruising, you should not save chairs. Talk about saving chairs on them and they will get fired up. When you go out to the pool, make sure you don't save chairs for you, your aunt, your uncle, your seven kids. They're going to swim for 20 minutes at some point during the day. And I want to put a couple towels and a hat on this and save it for them just in case Aunt Betty decides to get up before noon and go swimming with us. You can't save chairs. They now have a policy that if they see that chairs idled for 45 minutes, the uh, pool attendant will come over, remove the items, store them for you over where they keep the towels and free that chair up for other people that were actively swimming and actively using the area. So don't save chairs when you get on the ship. That's the number seven mistake that new cruisers make. All right, here we are at number eight and I'm getting, ex getting excited going over all these top 10 mistakes that cruisers make. Coming in at number eight is don't pack too much. It's that simple. Where are you going? Are you spending 12 weeks in the Mediterranean? Or what's going on? Why do you have to pack so much? Think about how many nights you have that uh, you have to get dressed up for uh, maybe for dinner and then how many excursions you have. And then you'll want to maybe double that. And that's really all you need to take. You don't need to take 45 pair of shoes and you don't need to take 12 belts. Relax. Just take limited amount of clothing, shoes, make sure you pack well. That way you don't have to lug all the luggage halfway across the US and um, painfully drag them up to your room. So don't forget, don't pack too much. You can last with only a few sets of clothes. All right, we're at number nine now of the top 10 mistakes that cruisers make. And coming in at number nine is you don't have to disembark immediately. Take your time. Did you know that you can order breakfast to your room the morning you disembark? It can be there when you wake up. Generally, it's before 7 a.m. Or you can go down to one of the main dining rooms. There's normally one on the aft ship between levels 5 and 7 that you can have breakfast on the disembark day. So just relax. Everyone is pushing towards the door, lugging, pulling their luggage and crowding the elevators. Well, my wife and I, we're just enjoying the day. We're going to the back of the ship. We're having breakfast. We are meeting more people. We're just watching the chaos because a lot of people don't know that you don't have to get off the ship. I bet you if people could, they would just jump off the ship and swim to shore because they think they have to get off right away. But generally, myself and my wife, we are probably one of the last ones to get off the ship and uh, they will always prompt you. So make sure on your last day, you don't have to rush to the elevators and go down and try to get off the ship before everyone else, unless you have an early flight out. All right, we've made it everyone. The top 10 mistakes that cruisers make and coming in at number 10 is a lot of cruisers don't know that you can change your dining reservations on the first day of your cruise. Just look on your sell and sign card. That will show you where your main dining room will be for that particular cruise. 
go there within the first of uh, first couple of hours that you arrive on the ship, there'll be a maitre d' there at the desk, and you can make changes to your dining reservation. Say that you wanted early dining, um, and then changed your mind to change it to late dining. You'll have a better chance if you make these changes on the first day rather than waiting halfway through the cruise, and then all the seats are taken, and they're really unlikely to make any changes at that point in time. So make sure you make changes on that first day. All right, that rounds out the top 10 mistakes that cruisers make. Thank you so much for watching the video. You are a big part of this community and the reason we do this, we try to make these videos as informative as possible. If you could do a little bit for us here, don't forget, click those like buttons uh, down below when you watch these videos. That really makes this channel pop. And also, don't forget, click that subscribe button. We want you to be a part of this team. We want you to be a part of the crew members. Thanks so much, guys. And hopefully, we're going to see you out on the high seas. Bye, guys.